Hi, my name is Spencer Watson. I'm the instructor for Cuisine at Grouse Mountain, and I'm going to show you how to make my favorite ramen. Um, when you're making ramen, the most important thing is your broth. Uh, and ramen is kind of one of those soups where you can go anywhere with it, um, but I like it when you make a good meat broth. So in my broth, I've got pork bones, chicken bones, and then classic aromatic vegetables. In this case, we're making ramen, so I use celery, onions, ginger, garlic, green onions. There's lots of pork fat in there. It should rot when you're eating ramen. It should rival milk or butter. Like you should feel it in the back of your throat. Um, but then I like to season it after. So I, I have just the base uh, meat broth with the aromatic vegetables in it. And then at the end, I like to add uh, soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, and mirin. It's going to give you salt, it's going to give you sweet, it's going to give you vinegar, uh, it's going to give you a little bit of umami with the fat in it, uh, and that's how I like to finish a ramen. It should hit kind of all the levels on your tongue. Um, so soy sauce for the salt. I do it by color. Obviously you're going to have to taste like a madman, but when you kind of get that light golden brown color, I think that's pretty good. So for the top. Uh, this is rice right, wine vinegar. It's going to give it like body punch just a little bit of vinegar because you don't want it like a, a sour soup. And then just um, a little bit of mirror for the sweetness. And then like all good cooks, you have to use your face to taste it. And uh, this might take a while. I'm just gonna put a little bit more mirror in there. And a little bit more uh, soy sauce. Perfect. It's a good color. Now, to plate it, I just have some uh, soba noodles here. And what I did is I, uh, I cooked them and then I rolled it in sesame oil. The, the oil is going to keep it not from sticking. But then when you ladle on the hot broth, it's going to take the oil off of the noodle. And I like that it's sesame because it's going to give it like a super fun flavor. And then I have um, some of my crispy pork belly pieces. You can just lay in there. I like a lot of pork belly pieces because of the end. I'm going to take the nice broth. There's going to be a lot of fat on the top, so make sure you like mix it around quite well. It's pretty good. And you can see the oils coming off of the noodles. That's pretty bad. I'm just going to finish it with a little bit of green onion and a little bit of raw ginger. I like the raw ginger, especially if you're not feeling well or it's a cold day outside. That ginger is kind of really going to punch you in the face. That's what food should do. And then just a little crisp of nori and a spoon. And that is my favorite ramen.